Good morning, students. Welcome to our social studies class. I hope that your student book and your workbook is with you right now. So today we are going to talk about workers and consumers. So we have different types of workers. So nowadays it is very important to have a work, and because we need workers, they are the one producing goods for us. So by producing goods, of course, we have consumers. Who are those consumers? Consumers, as what we said, they are the one who use the products or the users. So what they are capable of, they are capable of of helping our economy to be successful, just the same as the worker. So if we have a worker, we have a consumer, and their aim is to have an economic progress to help one another. To have a better life, so here in Thailand, I found a site that talks about the Ministry of Labor. So they are the one in charge for those who has a work around the country, and so they also have five departments that talks about the labor of employee in Thailand. So we have an information here. The ministry was established under the Act of the Reorganization of Ministries, Ministerial Bureau of Departments. So, which has come into effect on September twenty three, two five three six, provided the ministry is considered of agency as follows: first, office of the secretary to the minister, and second, office of the permanent secretary. Number three, department of employment. Four, department of public welfare. Number five, department of skills development. Number six, Department of Labor Protection and Welfare, and then the last one, Office of the Social Security. So all of them work together to have a better life, and so they are also able to provide work for those who are jobless, who doesn't have a work. So please listen to the next video. So right now we are going to talk about the rights of consumers and workers in Thailand. So we are going to talk about two: the consumers and the workers. Okay, so these are the rights of consumers. So number one, the right to correct information and detailed descriptions of goods and services. So if you are the consumer, you have the right. If there's something wrong about the information, for example, in here, the label in here, if there's something uh, wrong, then you have the right to correct the information that they've given here. If the description If what they are telling here is wrong, then you have all the rights to correct them. And then the next one that we have, we have the right to freedom to select goods and services. Of course, if you are going to go to Big C or to Tesco, Seven Eleven, it's up to you if what products you like. So nobody can tell you like, oh, you cannot take that. You cannot take this. So you have all the freedom that you want. Just to select what kind of goods and what kind of services you want. For example, you wanted to have a haircut, and then you go to barber shop one, and you don't like to go to barber shop two, and then you have the right to choose because it is your freedom. It is your right. So number three, the right to safe goods and services. So it's very important that if you are going to. To buy the goods that you want, then you are going to go here to look up if this product is this uh, healthy or not. So you have all the right to do that. You have all the right to select what kind of products that are healthy for you and what products are not healthy. So that is called safe. So number four. We have the right to a fair contract. So, for example, that you would like to buy uh, goods, and then you bought it for for uh, today, and then you found out that tomorrow is the expiration day, and it's a canned good. For example, canned goods. Canned goods as usually they don't expire. Uh, right away, they always have long terms of expiration, and then suddenly there's one store that they are still selling uh, goods that uh, nearly to expire. So it is your right to 
complain to go to the store like i don't want that product i want a reimbursement for example you want your money back or you want another product to exchange to that one that's not going to expire soon so it is your right to do that it is your right it's it should be a fair contract so fair contract sometimes can be an agreement about the services that you have so if you have a if somebody uh, doesn't follow what's what's your agreement all about then you have all the right to complain about it or to end it so that's what's the meaning of fair contract so number five we have the right to compensation in case so the right to compensation in case for example uh, you go to a meat shop and then you didn't eat anything only uh, the meat from the meat shops uh from the meat shop and then suddenly uh you got poison and so of course you go for an investigation you have somebody to check what's the reason of your what's the reason for having food poisoning and then the investigation find out that it's about the meat that you eat it's from that meat shop and then you have the right to sue the shop it means to say to go to a lawyer and file a case against the meat shop or uh, you also have the right that uh, they're gonna pay you they will pay your hospital bill and everything because you've been food poisoned so that's what we call compensation in case so it will happen sometimes that if some something bad happened to you the company will pay you money and also the company will going to pay your hospitalization because uh, uh, it is their fault why somebody while the why the consumer uh, got hospitalized so that's the meaning of compensation in case so now let's go to next page so we have here page 60 so now we are going to talk about this the agency of consumer protection here the ocpb so the agency of consumer protection is the office of the consumer protection board or ocpb to ensure safety and fairness consumers so here in thailand they are in charge about the safety of each consumers especially about services and products so now let's go to workers okay labor is major force in the manufacturing processes so in terms of goods we need to have workers for example we like to have those can of food and then we we like to drink those juice in a box or in a container so those processing food they always have a lot of workers so what's the rights of workers because they are the one making the goods okay here the ministry of labor implores the following okay so they will follow this the ministry of labor so we have number one improving labor of quality moral ethics and knowledge it means to say a worker shouldn't go there jump jump and work without any knowledge the worker should have further knowledge and ethics and moral about what he or she doing about making the goods okay next preparing people for economic progress so the aim for having workers and to have employment to have work for a lot of people is to have economic progress especially here in thailand that's the that's the target of the economy or the government so the thailand will raise and the ec the economy becomes better and better and better that's why it is nice when everybody has work okay number three promoting labor for stability and quality life so in that cases if we have a lot of work available so the labor this is this is their aim also to stabilize and to have a quality life so if the work was already stable it's already good and they give 
good information. They give a lot of knowledge to the workers. So they promote quality life. They will have a better life because they are being, they are being uh, educated by what they are doing. So they are not new to it. So next we have developing the management of organizations and labor staff to a greater efficiency. So the Ministry of Labor, this is also the their aim. So they only have one, two, three, four, but uh, it's very broad. So which means to say developing the management is like it should be the management for having works and organize the stuff and everything should have a greater efficiency it should be knowledgeable it should be organized well it should be great it should be better it should be it should be more knowledgeable it should be more ethical and have a great quality because that's what mostly consumers like they would like to have a good quality product so if if the consumer would like to have a good quality products then the management should also train all the workers to provide good quality products so now here here is about the ministry of labor for the workers or for goods and services for promoting goods and services now we will go here in rights of workers so rights of worker the this uh, people around here so the rights of worker to work not exceeding 8 hours per day and not more than 48 hours per week to have at least one day off a week so you if you have a business if you would like to provide good uh, quality and services make sure that you don't overuse your worker it means to say they need to work on a proper time paid also on a proper time and not exceeding 48 hours per week that's the rules and that's the rights of a worker to complain if you are already already uh working for 10 hours and you don't have any increase of salary then you have all the rights to complain anything about it. So you have number two, to receive compensation in case of injury. Yes. So for example, you are working in a factory and then you get an accident. They still going to pay you because you got an accident while you are working. While you are working. But... If you have a work and then you go outside, you go to your friends, drinks alcohol with your friends or go shopping with your friends and you got an accident, that is also the uh, company also have the right to complain about it that you are not working properly. So you are not going to get compensation for that. So number three. To receive salary, salary is what you get every month, and wages in accordance with the signed contract and the general law. So if you are working in one company, you always have a contract. And it should be renewable every year or every three years. It depends about the uh, general law that they make. Okay, number four. To receive welfare, like free medical treatments while on sick leave working under the contract. So, for example, you're working and then you are pregnant and then you're going to give birth. Of course, it is, it is very understandable that when a woman uh, give birth, uh, they need to have a proper leave and then it's sick leave. It's called sick leave. And then it should be under the contract and they should have uh, medical treatments like insurance from the company. And then they are also get paid. That is rights of worker. Okay, so we end in here. So this is the major or the common uh, knowledge that I can give to you about workers and about consumers. Okay, thank you students. Goodbye.